Hi there, this is Ranjit and welcome to my YouTube channel that's Kiki Ranjit and in this video we will do the gaming review for this Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini and this S4 Mini sports a 1.7 GHz dual core processor it has 1.5 gigs of RAM and the GPU on this is Adreno 305 so it's not as powerful as the flagship Galaxy X4 kind of mid-range uh, specs so let's look at the gaming and we'll start with some casual games first because a lot of users have complained me that I'm just doing high-end gaming reviews these days so let's start with the actually Subway Surfer first So this is Subway Surfer. Looks fairly smooth. Performs uh, okay, I would say. I'm not seeing any. Uh, there is a little bit of lag, yeah, as you can see here. Yeah. It did show that it lag a little bit. Now let's continue for a while and see. Maybe it was just loading the level of what then. That's why it had a lag. But let's look at it. The lag was there a little bit. see the lag maybe it was just we loading something I will continue from there now it's mostly lag free I would say so yes we can conclude that yes I did see a lag a little bit and uh, so this is Subway Surfer. Let us get out of the same. Now let's kill that task and let's also load one more casual game. That's Temple Run 2, a very popular game. And this is Temple Run 2, and we'll just go to the menu settings. And we go to the settings, and visual quality we'll keep it at the best. We'll just go back now and let's play this game. It looks decent, but again, Temple Run can be run with even the most basic phones these days. Here it performs well. Also, as, a, as it's a Super AMOLED screen, the viewing angles, as you see, are excellent on this uh, S4 Mini. And the colors are very vibrant because of the AMOLED screen again. So it runs fairly well, I would say. I'm not seeing any droppage of frames or anything like that oopsie yeah. <laughs> so as you can see it's running fast and again no lag that's nice so we can conclude that it runs this temple run uh, game without any issues and there is no lag so let me get out of this one now And let's go to one more casual game that's Subway Surfer. Oh, sorry, we did run Subway Surfer. Let me get out. Sorry, uh, we'll run Beach Park Splits. This is the one. And some of the phones do uh, tend to skip a few frames in this one, so we'll be closely looking at that thing. 
Don't worry about the lines that you see on the screen. It's my camera. The screen is perfect. I'm going to use the touch to steer. And you can download this uh, Beachbox uh, Blitz for free from the Android Play Store. As of now, as you can see, it's running very fine. I don't see any lagginess here. It's running very well, I would say. See again. Hint of lag. Maybe that was loading the next... Uh, uh, level loading but overall again as you can see no laggy no. so this is beach park clips and it plays well on this galaxy s4 mini so let me get out of that one also and let's also run uh, this very popular game that's dead trigger let me go to the download apps So this is Dead Trigger, again as you see the character movement is very smooth. One thing I did notice is that this phone is not compatible with USB OTG, hence I could not attach PS3 controllers to the same. Very responsive, smooth. I would say it should play this dead trigger game without any issues. And this is another level. Yes, I don't see any hint of lag with dead trigger. Very smooth. So we can conclude that it does play uh, FPS games like dead trigger without any issue so let me get out of this one now as we can see this galaxy s4 mini handles casual games uh, more or less without uh, any issues except for survey surfer in which we saw a little bit of lag uh, other games played fine so in the next part of this video that's the part two of this gaming review i'll be playing some heavy games for example the aspal 7 and modern combat 4 and we'll see how well this samsung galaxy s4 mini handles them thank you that's it for now this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video